Hello, Thailand. 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 Hello,
Mocopod. There are three parts to Mocopod. For those that have not seen how to use Mocopod, then please check out my other video tutorial. You have the boiler here. You have the basket to put the tea or the coffee. And this is the pot where the brewed tea or coffee will come out of. Now, this is a no brand mocha pot. Is it okay to use a no brand mocha pot? It is. I'm going to put 200 ml of water here or roughly about 6.5 ounces and put it into my boiler. This time, I am suggesting that you use plain room temperature water, not the hot water. You'd like it to be a little bit longer. You'd like the tea to steep longer. And for this, I am also going to use the same amount of tea so that's one and a bit, just like what we did for the pour over, so the taste will be similar, or we can compare the exact taste, so just level it, and then lock the pot on. When using the mocha pot, do not use the handle to turn. This one is very delicate, you could destroy your mocha pot, so turn using the pot itself. You only use the handle to hold it. Okay, now I'm going to put this on my hot plate here and we're going to wait for it to boil. That's roughly about three to four minutes. Whilst we are waiting for our mocha pot to boil, I am going to take off the tea sock because in reality or in actual serving, you don't really soak it that long. So I'm just going to emulate that. And yes, I am going to squeeze all the juice out of my tea. Some might cringe at this, saying that you're going to make the tea bitter, not with Thai tea. You really want it to be strong. What I'm aiming for here is to get about 150 ml, and that's exactly what I got. 150 ml of my Thai tea, or 5 ounces. So I'm going to discard this. Do not reuse your tea. It's not going to taste of anything. So use it only one time. And now for the third method, I am going to use the espresso machine. So you have seen me use this a few times. If you haven't, then please check out my other video tutorials. So we're going to use the same proportion, one scoop and a bit, to get 150 ml or five ounces of brewed tea. So using the espresso machine, don't forget to flush the group head. And then we are going to pull five ounces or 150 ml of our Thai tea. That's 150 ml or 5 ounces of our Thai tea. So make sure you clean this and flush the group head again so that when you brew your next drink, which might be coffee, there is no taste of tea in there. Now let's see what's going on with my mocha pot. And there you go, you have the brewed tea right in your pot. Let's see how much we got. Put in 200 ml of water there and let's see how much is the yield. slightly over 150. I'm only going to use 150, so it will be the same as my other two brew. With Thai tea, it's very important that you get the color right. If the color is pale, it means you haven't got it right or maybe your tea is not strong enough or your milk might be too much so the balance has to be there the tea and the milk step it up with some natural grass jelly grass jelly works so well with thai milk tea and once again in thailand you can find this fresh not from the can and this is a healthier version of your tapioca pearls and not only that Grass jelly will last longer than tapioca pearls. You can keep it refrigerated and the taste will even be better because it will be more crunchier. So it's not like tapioca pearls where it only lasts during the day.
So in terms of color, I would rank the espresso as the darkest, the mocha pot as the next darkest, and the lightest is using the pour over method. In terms of smell, they all smell good. Once again, I would think that the one that we use, the espresso machine, smells the strongest. So that means it retains the aroma of the tea. The one with the mocha pot also smells um, quite strong. And with the traditional method, it's slightly less. It's now down to the taste. Let me try each one of them. I would say that the taste of the one that we use the espresso is probably the best of the three, but not everyone might have an espresso machine. Next is the mocha pot. This tastes really, really good, comparable with the one using the espresso. The one that is weakest, although it tastes just like a regular Thai milk tea, is using the pour over method. Another method is of course boiling your water and sipping your Thai tea for about 10 minutes. To summarize, when we use the espresso, it gives you the best color, the best taste, and the best aroma. Next is the mocha pot. It gives you a strong color. Also, the taste is comparable with that of the espresso machine, and also the taste is quite strong. And probably the least of them all is using the pour over. But in terms of investment, well, the pour over method uses very simple gadget, which is really your tea stock strainer. You need the kettle, you need your pictures you can make a large or small brew using a tea socks trainer but you also have to change this quite regularly so the investment required for a pour over would be in the region of about 20 us dollars so about a thousand pesos for mocha pot the investment will be slightly higher you would need your mocha pot you would need your hot plate or if you have a stove that's okay so i would say the good thing is that you can also use this for coffee and the total investment would be around about 50 US dollars or about 2,500 pesos. Now, of course, with the tea sock, you can also use this for coffee. The most expensive of all is the espresso machine. So that is recommended for those with coffee shop or already are using espresso machines. So whatever method you decide to use in the end, make sure you retain the flavor, the taste and the aroma. For those that are already serving Thai milk tea in their shops, you might wish to look at the modern methods of making or brewing your delicious Thai milk tea. In the next video tutorial, I am going to add another method which is also very good for brewing Thai tea. Stay tuned. I'll give you a sneak preview of that and for that we are going to use an electric mocha pot. This is also a sensational method of brewing your Thai tea. Much easier than using a mocha pot. I'll see you again in my next video tutorial. In the meantime, stay safe. Thank you for watching and ciao for now.